on The Indian Doctor. You've come all the way from India? Yes. Prem and Kamini Sharma have just arrived in Wales. Welcome to your new home. And if their new town isn't sure about them... Do you have to watch those people? The feeling is mutual. They're peasants, Prem. The award-winning series. Need a good drama to dig into? Let us introduce The Indian Doctor. All three seasons are now available here in Colorado only on PBS 12. Go to pbs12.org slash passport to binge. Uh, let's get to our very favorite part of the show, Disgrace of the Week. As always, Ms. Cahoon, please start us off. Well, I'm going to say something nice again about Frontier Airlines. I flew from Missoula to Denver yesterday in less time than it took me to get home from the airport on I-70 because it was closed early because of a crash. But also, the airport really needs to remind the final approach facilities that where we're supposed to go wait for cell phones, that the bathrooms are open to everyone, not just those who buy bad pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> David. There will be a ceremony in, in downtown Denver uh, this weekend uh, reflecting on the uh, anti-Chinese riot uh, that took place in, in 1840, 1880. It was a democratic election parade, actually, that then, then turned into a riot and was ultimately quelled by the Denver sheriff calling out 500 men of the Posse Comitatus, citizens with their own firearms, uh, that finally suppressed it. I know everybody has been missing the, the trivia and history from the 1800s. It's great to have you back, David. <laughs> Eric. I hate to be the bearer of bad news for our viewers who are watching us at our prime time of 8 o'clock on a Friday night, but if you're watching, it means it is too late to get to the El Paso County Republican dinner with Marjorie Taylor Greene, which is going on this evening. That is really the ticket for the rebound of the Republican Party in Colorado is bringing Marjorie Taylor Greene here. really shows they have a, the, uh, their hands on what the problem is and why they're on such a prolonged losing streak. And that's a preview of my column this weekend. Finger on the pulse of Colorado, brought to you by <laughs> El Paso County Republicans. Elena. Denver is now at the highest threat level of COVID-19 spread, according to the CDC. And it joins several other counties, including Douglas, Adams, Arapahoe, Broomfield, and Weld counties. Um, and that's a disgrace. Time to say something nice about somebody. Patty. If you are watching this at home tonight, not only are you not hearing Marjorie Green, but you are not seeing Tom Noel's retirement roast. Uh, as David pointed out, history is important. We have to remember what happened. That Those Chinese riots were horrible, what happened to good citizens of Denver at the time. So we have to remember history. Tom Noel helped us do that. You're here. David. Um, I missed it last week, so I'll say it this week. The, the great Colorado uh, Dick Lamb, who was, ever since I met him when I was 14 at the State Democratic Convention, was uh, in 1974, it was an inspiring free thinker, made me very proud to, to be a Coloradan. And the, the last time I saw him was in, in uh, 2019 when he lectured at my uh, uh, Denver University class on the Colorado Constitution. And his last book about his life and career, The Governor's Chessboard, is, in my opinion, an excellent book. Eric. Nicely said, David. Thank you. Uh, being close to that, being close to that family. And let me shift gears, both personally and uh, in terms of local journalism world. Marianne Goodland did this as her say something nice last week. I'm going to do it as my say something nice this week. Linda Shapley. Uh, I've been writing for Colorado Politics now for exactly two years. She has been my editor. She is a joy to work with. She is highly, highly professional. I don't know how our publication managed to let her get away to Colorado Community Media, uh, but it is a, a win for Colorado Community Media, and thank you, Linda, for all of your support. Hear, here. Elena. I echo congratulations to Linda, my former editor as well. Um, and I also just wanted to give it up to our Colorado Olympians who are crushing it in Japan. Hear, here. The first one, the first gold out of track and field was a Colorado, and that was uh, very nice to see.